say County Clare, and you say O'Brien. So, not surprisingly, this ancient site of the hereditary chieftains of the clan date back to the 17th century. The present castle was completed in 1826, and in its forerunner was born William Smith O'Brien, leader of the abortive rising of 1848. Designer of the castle was William Payne, who built it with the customary great entrance hall and a ground floor corridor from which reception rooms open right and left. At the end of this corridor, lies the main staircase with its striking stained glass window and gracefully vaulted ceiling. The first floor gallery, with bedrooms off, retraces the ground floor corridor at this higher level. One of the many lovely pieces at this week's auction, a four compartment conversational seat, which sold for 80 pounds. Two decorative pilasters at the entrance to Lord Inchiquin's bedroom the fine portrait of Lord Inchiquin himself, Donna Edward Foster O'Brien, the 16th Baron. Ah yes, a pair of Persian silver-mounted horse pistols, which sold for 40 pounds, and the silver of the establishment laid out under the gaze of past generations that used it. Take, for instance, this two-handled porringer, crested and inscribed J. Foster from Major Stansfold. It dates from 1697 and was auctioned this week for 60 pounds. One of these single barrel flintlocks sold for 100 pounds. And note the delicacy of the work on this basket hilt of fine rapier. An unusual item, this, a jester staff of silver and immediately above it, the portrait of Sir Lucius O'Brien. The spacious drawing room of Dremolan Castle, its richly gilded cornice and handsome chimney piece, gives it an air of elegance. A seven piece suite of early English painted satin wood, knocked down at 250 pounds, and one of a pair of Georgian celestial and terrestrial globes, which fetched the celestial figure of 330 pounds. A rare item, this, a Vatican fouchard as carried by the papal guards. It was bought in Rome in 1890. And brooding in the great hall over all this change is Jan Vick's immense 13th century likeness of Donatus O'Brien, one time King of Ireland. This hereditary seat of his descendants is soon to become a luxury hotel. But on portion of the old estate, Lord Inchquin builds a new family home, and the ancient O'Brien line will still be identified with the ruling lands of County Clare.